Joining us now is Dr. Long Chin Chen from Penn State University. I want to congratulate you first, Doctor. You're the 2014 MRS Materials Theory Award winner. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, your award talk is titled Understanding and Manipulating Mesoscale Pharaohic Domain Patterns. So please give us just a quick preview of that talk. Well, uh, thank you uh, very much for having me here. So in uh, tomorrow's presentation, uh, I'll be mainly uh, focused on uh, talking about the yeah, formation of microstructural patterns in materials. Uh, in, in particular, uh, I'll be talking about the stability of uh, electrical polarization domain patterns, uh, also magnetic domain patterns and, and strain domain patterns in uh, ferroelectrics and multi -epheroics. I also I'll be talking about a, a computational method we call the phase field method and how we can use it to uh, interpret and understand experimentally observed domain patterns uh, as well as uh, to provide uh, guidance to synthesizing or manipulating domain patterns for optimum uh, responses to external fields. So what is it about this topic that interested you? You focused your career on it. Why? Well, uh, materials research, as I uh, see it, really distinguish itself from, uh, let's say, physics, or chemistry, or other uh, engineering disciplines by focusing on, on uh, the study and control of microstructural patterns. So uh, my, uh, all my background, actually from undergrad to graduate training, it's been in uh, uh, material science and mm. engineering. So I guess uh, I've uh, been trying to focus, on my, uh, focus my career on uh, topics that I'm uh, most familiar with. <laughs> that's, that's always a good policy. So what are some of the practical applications or devices that stem from your area of research? Well, for the particular type of materials that uh, I'll be mainly focused on, uh, 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 electrics and multi uh because uh, for this type of materials, they interact and, and also uh, respond to external fields. Actually, they can uh, uh, respond to more than one type of external fields, or mm. for a particular external uh, field, they can produce more than one type of uh, responses. So these are multifunctional materials. They find wide applications in uh, uh, devices such as uh, energy conversion uh, transducers, uh, like uh, sensors and actuators, uh, energy storage devices like uh, capacitors, uh, as well as uh, memories. Mm. Now what do you see in the near future in your branch of science? Well, as I uh, mentioned uh, a minute ago, uh, the study and control of uh, microstructural patterns is really the core of material science and yeah. engineering. So uh, uh, I think uh, this, will, uh, this topic will, will be the topic or the core or the, the central topic or at least one of the central topics in material science and engineering as long as this discipline continues to exist. Uh, for the particular area that I'm uh, mostly focused on, uh, computational microstructural evolution, I think we're probably going to see uh, computational software packages. And this could be uh, open source or commercial will start to appear in the near future, which can be used to predict and, and model microstructural pattern formation, and, and they can be used to assist uh, materials design. And also, I think we should uh, start thinking about how to build uh, databases for microstructural patterns from either experiments, or actually both from experiments, and comp uh, computer simulations. Because these uh, databases will be large databases, as they are sure. you know, three and could be four-dimensional uh, huh. data. So, uh, and with these databases, uh, we can you know, think about how actually we can use this database to also uh, reduce the number of experiments uh, in, in designing materials. So as part of the, uh, the uh, Materials Genome Initiative, 
you know, that was issued yeah, a few we've, years we've ago. Yeah, we've heard a lot of that. Long Chin Chen, thank you, and congratulations on your award yeah. again. Well, we appreciate you your much. time. If you'd like to hear more from Dr. Long Chin Chen, his talk is being recorded and will be available several weeks after the meeting at mrs.org backslash on demand.